All right, friends, we are exactly one month away now from the total solar eclipse across America. And lucky for us, the path of totality goes right through Ohio. Thanks for sticking with us for 10 TV News at 430. I'm Doug Petcast. Yolanda has the day off. I'm Angela Ann. We're glad you're here. As the excitement builds, it's important you know how to watch that eclipse safely. You must use what are called ISO Certified Safe Solar Eclipse Glasses. These protect your eyes when the sun is not at full eclipse. Now keep in mind, sunglasses and most welding filters are not dark enough to protect your eyes and can lead to damage. Once the sky is dark, you'll see the solar corona. That's your cue to take off your glasses to view. The solar corona is a glowing white ring around the sun made of gases. They're usually hidden by the bright lights of the sun. For areas outside of totality, like the Columbus Metro, that will only see a partial solar eclipse. You'll have to keep those glasses on for the entire event. Outside of totality, there is no time when it's safe to look directly at the sun without the proper eclipse glasses. So for more information on where to find those proper glasses and how to view this eclipse in totality, or maybe partially, you can text the word eclipse to 614-460-3345. Now you might remember we were in a partial viewing area of the solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. This was back in 2017. The next one that's visible in the U.S. not until the year 2044. It's going to be a long wait, but next month's event is just one of four types of solar eclipses. So let's break it down. First up, we'll talk about next month's eclipse, called a total solar eclipse. It occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and Earth. People in the middle of the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken as if it were dusk or dawn. They'll see what's called the sun's corona, or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. Next up is the annular solar eclipse. This is what many folks saw back in October. The annular eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and Earth, but this time it's at its furthest point from Earth. That means it doesn't completely cover the sun, but creates a dark disk surrounded by what looks like a ring. You need to keep your eclipse glasses on to enjoy this type of eclipse. Depending on where you are, you may experience a partial solar eclipse. This happens during both a solar and annular eclipse when you are outside the area covered by the moon. You'll see part of the sun covered, giving it a crescent shape. And lastly, a hybrid solar eclipse. Because the Earth is curved, there are times an eclipse can switch between an annular and total solar eclipse as it moves across. The next one of these will be in 2031.